I want to look at how you handle having multiple forms on the same page, some of the issues that arise there. Because you're not always going to want to collect all the data in one form. You may have multiple places for people to submit data, maybe with various reasons. So what I've done on my profile page is simply added a very basic form to allow somebody to post a comment. So I have the form method is post. I've added a label and a text area and an input of type submit so they can submit this form as well. Now I've also got this other form that we've been using so far that has a method of post and an action going back to this same page, profile.cshtml. This form has its action set explicitly. The new form has its action set implicitly to that same thing. So the question arises then, I have two different forms that are going to be posted to the server and how are we going to differentiate then when we get this form data, which form we should be processing? Should we be saving that comment or should we be saving or updating that profile? Now if we look at the inputs here, we have the input with a type of submit and here I've got one with a name of profile submit and a value of submit. And down here I have an input type of submit with a name of comment submit and a value of submit comment. This is important. As we mentioned in a previous module, when you give a name to this input, even though it has a type of submit, you're going to get a name and value pair in the form data coming across. So we're going to see this profile submit come across as part of the data. So if we look at our form, we can see very simply, or our page rather, we've got the two forms. Comment is down here with its submit comment, and our profile form is up here with the submit button as well as our example of the other buttons. So I'm going to come in and add a bit of code. I'm not going to make you watch me type this. And this code happens to be specific to ASP.NET uh, Razor syntax or ASP.NET web pages here in WebMatrix. I'm not going to get into all the details. I've got another module on server-side processing. But essentially I'm going to look at the request and the parameters coming in and check the keys. Remember our form values are going to come over as key value pairs. And I'm going to ask if that contains profile submit. Essentially, did the user, when they submitted the page, submit the profile form? Because I should get a key for that input of type submit. Likewise, I can check and see, does it contain the comment submit? Is that the button that was pushed? Is that submit part of the form that's being submitted here? So we'll save that. And all I'm going to do in each of those cases is simply put out a, a smaller header here, just so we can see some feedback that a comment was submitted or the profile was submitted. So we'll go up here and add some details. We'll submit and let's pull up the network tracing here. We've got our invocation there. Let's go back to the network. We can see the profile and we can see the form data here. So notice we've got first and last name, but we also have this profile submit going across with a value of submit. Again, that input with a type of submit becomes part of the form data when we give it a name. So now when we check all keys, we're going to see this value. We've still got a breakpoint from earlier. And now when the page comes back, we see the profile was submitted. So we saw that value within the collection there. We go down now to the comments. Demo time, we'll submit the comments here. We can see comment was submitted. If we go look at that post, we can see the form data. In this case, we've got that comment submit and the submit comment. So we can see that that particular item was passed across, that input of type submit, came across to the server. Now we've got another alternative here, which is that we can instead go and change our inputs to have the same value. So we could, for example, call them both profile submit. Let me change that on both of these. And what that simply means is, Regardless of which form we submit, we're going to get a key value pair of profile submit. That'll be the key. And the value then differs based on the, the form. 
So we could use some slightly different code to differentiate. So let me go up here. We could now check and say, okay, well, if we have that key of profile submit, let's check. And if it ends, if its value then ends with comment, we know that we're down here on the value of submit comment. So we know we're in the comment form. So we can do comment was submitted. Otherwise, we know it wasn't that form. It must have been the profile. Either of those works. The key is just to understand that what you're doing is including the submit button as a value and its value then comes across so that you can differentiate those forms on the server side. Now obviously another alternative would be to change the action so that each of them post to a different location. You can isolate your processing that way but this is really helpful if you want to put the processing in one page and one code base and just differentiate based on which form was processed and hand that code off to the appropriate handling code to do what you need to do.